Hello fellow humans and welcome back to my channel. How have you all been? Let's paint this uh, this alpaca with me. I've, I did the flowers in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, you should go watch because it took really long and I'm really proud of those flowers. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Guys, if you didn't know that these glitches, they're, uh, they're transitions. I've had, um, I've had people commenting and, and messaging me about them. They're transitions. There's nothing wrong with my camera or with my editing software. It's, it, it was on purpose, but for the next video, I'll change it. I'll do uh, other kinds of trans transitions. So, uh, it'll be more clear I really loved how this alpaca turned out it was really fun it took a lot less time than I expected actually but because it was such a big Big picture, big paper, it was really easy to put in all the, the details. What I did right, right there, that was absolutely dumb. Absolutely idiotic, because I put my hand on my rag and I, I smudged paint all over my, my background, so I, uh, I had to do it all again. At this point, I was still figuring out how, where to put the highlights and the shadows and all that because I really wasn't sure. Uh, but well, I guess practice makes perfect, right? Because at the end, it worked out pretty well, and I'm really happy again with how this turned out. I, I know I've said that already, but I'm, I'm really proud of what I did here because. I mean, look, look at it, look at it. <laughs> Can you guys hear, by the way, that I'm trying to pronounce my words better? Because I feel, I feel like the few first, the first few uh, videos, my my talking, my English was was broken. <laughs> My accent really wasn't what it should be, and I hope it's a bit better. I know it's not perfect, but yeah, I'm, I'm working on it and trying to pronounce better and, you know, just, I'm doing my best. If you didn't know yet, I'm from Belgium. I, uh, we don't speak English here, obviously, we speak Dutch. But I feel like English is a world language, so we can't even speak English correctly. What are we doing in life? <laughs> the least I could do for you guys. I'm still trying to work on my my filming skills because as you can see right here it, it's not really in focus I don't know what my camera was focus, focusing on but I feel like it's nothing because neither the, the painting nor my hand nor the palette or the, the phone is in focus so I don't I really don't know Putting these hairs in, these tiny 
here's the, the black ones and the white ones that I thought it would be so fun to do because when you're an artist you can you, you create something out of nothing and well I, th I think that's beautiful because who else can do that of course I feel like Writer, writers do that better, you know, they they actually create something out of nothing. We we as artists, at, at least I do, I, I do this. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying other artists do this, um, but I do this. I always work from a picture. As you can see here, I work from a picture, um, even uh, one that I, I edited, because when you're doing realism it just makes it easier to uh, to to make the proportions right and to make it look realistic my goal when i'm painting is to um to make the painting look like a, a photo because I mean, isn't that everyone's goal when they're doing realism? I know I'm not, I'm not there yet. Uh, there are artists that are much, much better than me, that can do much, much more. But I am really proud of what I can do, and I think, I think that that's one of the most important things when you're an artist is to be proud of your work because there there's always gonna be people who will have something to say who think their opinion matters more and that all, those are all always the people who, who who don't like your art but screw them if you're proud of something, stay proud of it, because you, you worked hard. I worked really hard on this picture, on this painting, I mean. And I'm gonna stay proud of what I did, because I did this. This is my work. That's the most important thing, um, in my opinion, when you're making art to just be proud and be happy with what you made even if it's it looks like crap even if you're not that happy just be just be proud of it because you did something today you you worked on something you put effort in something and that on its own is is something to be proud of. Alright, I'm done with the mom talk right now. Um, let's just look at the painting. Um, I had quite a, f quite a bit of trouble with the, what do you call it, the nose and the, the mouth. Because, well, the, the rest of the body and the head is like, I did with like, really small stripes but the mouth and the nose is um, well, I saw in the picture was very different and um, I had a bit of trouble with that and I think as you can see on the right side of the nose I kind of uh, on the mouth the upper part of the lip I think I made it made it a bit too too low. It dropped a bit too low, but uh, hey, I can't say anything. I'm happy. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And as I just said, I did something. I did something productive. Yeah. Oh, and this is me fixing the background because, like I said earlier, I put my hand on my rack and I smudged the paint a bit. But that's an easy mistake to fix. Uh, guys, here is the end result. I really hope you liked it. Uh, comment, comment down below 
what you think. Like and subscribe here on my socials. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye!